What was the biggest bullet you dodged? I had a cardiac arrest about four years ago. Dropped dead ish in the middle of my shift. Found out after I woke up about a week later that A. The manager who saw me fall was a former lifeguard and knew proper CPR. B. An ambulance happened to be passing about two blocks away. C. Probably the best cardio unit in my state was a 10 minute ambulance ride from where it all happened. Walked out of the hospital about two weeks later, full recovery. Just before starting HS, I got hit by a car doing 35 miles per hour while riding my bike. T boned, my bike went under the car, I was thrown up, smashed the windshield out with my back, was flipped over the car, and landed a perfect no hop landing on my feet, like a gymnast minus the arms raised flourish at the end. The entire accident was witnessed by a firefighter who was watching out his window, literally standing right next to his emergency radio, and called for an ambulance. The lady who hit me got out of her car, yelling, I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse, lie down. I had no breaks or fractures, just a bruised rib cage. Not changing jobs in early 2020. Would have been a short-lived promotion after early restructuring and layoffs. I changed jobs March 9, 2020. Two days later my city shut down and everyone was sent to work from home. My new company committed to zero COVID layoffs, the company I left, laid off about 80% of my department. Dodged a bullet, haha. Was going to move to a different apartment complex last month. Got injured at work and lost hours, therefore, couldn't come up with the deposit money in time. Last week some asshat was cooking meth and caught the building on fire. In 1992 I was 16. A bunch of us were about to leave a party and I called shotgun. But, my friend Pat kind of wrestled me out of the spot and I wound up jumping in another car since the first car was now full. The other driver and I watched as our friend's car skidded into oncoming traffic. Pat was airlifted to the local trauma hospital where his dad told a huge group of us teenagers that Pat had succumbed to his injuries. Maybe that's not exactly bullet dodged, but... Similar story. I was going out with my mom and sister when I was in about middle school. I always sat in the passenger side back seat if it was more than me and the driver. My sister decided at the last second that she would stay home, and we got T-boned on the way home in a hit and run. The other car totaled our car, with all the damage on the back passenger seat, where I should have been sitting. I still think about that often. When my great aunt passed away I was helping to clean out her house. I'm just dragging everything out of the basement and suddenly my dad is like, whoa. Put that down gently and let's move away from here. So I put the weird metal tube type thing I'm carrying down and get out of there. Turns out it's a mortar shell from when my aunt worked in a munitions factor during World War II. Bomb squad came and took it away. I'm just casually going to take a mortar from work, no problem at all, as you do. Did you ever hear back from the bomb squad about whether or not it was still active? Not me, but I had a field service engineer working on one of my big robotic liquid handlers. He decided to bypass the safety pin that prevents the heads from moving while the cover is open while he had a diagnostic program queued up on the computer. What he didn't know was that the instant he reinserted the safety pin the machine would execute the queued instructions and start moving, and he had a hand inside it right in the danger zone. I grabbed his shoulder and yanked his hand out an instant before it was crushed. He stopped ignoring me when I told him to stop bypassing safety lockouts to save a few minutes. Wow. I'm sure this guy isn't completely responsible for you guys putting a safety system in place but it sounds like he certainly had a hand in it. I stayed up all night before a day trip to Hong Kong. You know that days when you haven't slept, you're just kinda robotic and doing the human stuff, nearly zero awareness of anything? Well, I went to cross a street and my friend behind me snatched my shoulder and yanked me backwards just in time to feel the whoosh of a double-decker bus breezing past us. I just looked at him like, oh, thanks man and it took a whole extra minute for my brain to process I would be fucking dead had he not grabbed me. Well, about 15 years ago I dated a guy for less than a year. It was an awful, abusive relationship and I was happy to get out of it when I did. About. 8 to 9 years ago, I saw him on the news. He strangled his girlfriend to death. He then dismembered her and lived with her body for a month or so before he was caught. Similar situation but he had kids with another woman and ended up murdering their kids and tried killing her. He also robbed a ton of old people and now he's in jail for life. Bullet dodged. Went to kill myself by putting a plastic bag over my head and tying it off. Figured it would be less messy to be found. My cat started going crazy on the other side of the door when I started to get lightheaded and feel sort of nauseous. I thought, Oh right, you need your dinner and no one else will feed you, 
And I untied the bag to feed the cat. After the fact I realized my cat literally saved me from one of my lowest points. God I miss that cat. Still can't believe I came that close. My mother left me in one state and went back to my abusive stepfather. She tried to get me to drop out of my senior year at HS, move back to their state and just get my get, they wanted a live and babysitter, cook and maid, I was so lucky my grandparents let me move in with them and finish school. Not my story, but a girl I knew had had a few drinks and decided to hitchhike home, a town about 40 minutes away from the one she'd been drinking in. Note it is very common for people to hitchhike in this area. She gets picked up by a car of guys, all seems fine until she points out they can drop her off just up ahead, and they keep driving. She had that instant sober feeling. She plays it off like she's clueless and totally down to keep hanging out with them, acting like she's very drunk meanwhile they're back in more forested area of the highway. Then she fake dry heaves and says she about to puke, really putting on a show so they stop to let her out. She books it into the bushes and just doesn't look back until she's safe. After I had a stroke, I was in a coma and it didn't look like I'd wake up. The DRS asked my wife if they should let me go. I only exist because she said no. I didn't dodge a bullet so much as my wife blocked it for me. Freshman year of college I had a calc class. It was material I had learned before, but for various reasons they didn't give me transfer credit. So I skipped class quite frequently. Though I usually slept in, one morning I find myself awake at 8.30 and not really feeling like sleep. Might as well check in on the class and see what's going on. It was the midterm exam. As a chronic procrastinator, I've been there, but I've also noticed it a day too late and that feels bad man. My dad was going through severe depression 10 years ago and my life was equally shitty for a whole multitude of reasons, and it was rubbing off on me. I spent what felt like half an hour crying on the floor and working up the nerve to pull the trigger, then when I finally did, the safety was on, I sold my gun the next morning. Wish my dad was able to say the same three years later. My GF and I were going to see Cats, the movie. Our Uber pulls up and straight away we notice something about the driver. To this day, we can't articulate what it was, other than to say he just felt off. We got into his car, already hesitating and a touch anxious. He looks at us in the rear view mirror and makes a comment like two lovely ladies in my car tonight or some weird shit. A few minutes in, he makes another semi-sexual innuendo comment about riding with him. My friend notices the handle of a knife just poking out the side of his jacket. She says hey can we stop at 7 to 11, we need to grab a Gatorade real quick. So we go in and refuse to come back out. We're considering whether to call the police or not, it was so creepy, but what would we say? Ah, uh, some dude was creepy to us? And while we're hesitating, he winds down his window, brandishes this fucking hunting knife at both of us, screams something about devil women and then just tears it out the parking lot. To this day, my GF and I are so thankful that we got out of that Uber. Otherwise we would have made it to the movies in time and we would have seen cats. I was walking down the street in downtown Chicago and I heard a loud bang followed by a woman screaming. Somebody dropped a full 2 liter bottle of soda from the 13th floor and it just missed me. It was essentially a giant bullet at that height and speed. The woman screaming was about 5 feet behind me, she was the second closest to being hit. I'm pretty sure that bottle would have killed me if it hit me. When I was in middle school I wanted to buy a fedora, but none could fit my head.